Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 21 that is integration of the Selenium test to the Jenkins in this uh, code of Selenium web driver in Java. In this lecture you will learn how to set up the Selenium project in Jenkins, how to set up build configuration, how to run the Selenium tests on the Jenkins. So I'm not gonna cover how to install the Jenkins, I'm assuming that uh, you have downloaded and installed the Jenkins and from there on i'm gonna start so when you install the jenkins uh, you will when you start the server this kind of screen will appear and uh, over there you can set up your jenkin like in the if you go to manage jenkin you will uh, find that you can configure your system you can manage the plugins so to run the selenium tests you will have to install a couple of plugins so if you come here you will you can search uh, the plugins by typing this plugin names over there and then you can just click on those particular plugins that you want to install you can click on download now and install after restart so i have already installed some of the plugins that are required for example with this git plugin i am installed because i want to get the project uh, from that github account and then i've also installed this gradle plugin this maven integration plugin ms build plugin all these plugins so to run the java tests you will not need all of this you will need this git plugin and maven plugin that so two plugins are required on and you can notice that this jnit plugin is already installed by default install those all those plugins that are required and then you can click on manage jenkins and then there you can click on configure system over there you will have to specify uh, lots of tools like uh, to run the selenium tests you will need the maven so you will have to give the uh, maven path on your Jenkins server then JDK is also required so we will have to also give the JDK path and all that tools that are going to use here you can notice that there is a section called JDK installations and I have specified where my JDK is installed you can also delete that JDK or add new JDK you can also specify Maven configuration over there and you can also specify git uh, installation directory I have installed this git over there and given the path over there and similarly you can add uh, remaining stuff so here it is there is a section for the maven so if you click on maven installations you can notice that that's where my maven is installed local maven directory jenkins url if you are using the ssh protocol you will have to use this particular uh, private key password and uh, location of those particular keys and that's it once you uh, do all these settings what you have to do is you have to click on new item then here you can give the name say serenium project one here you can click on maven project if you want to build a maven project Jenkins takes advantages of uh, your pom files and dust reduces the configuration then click on ok or you can also use freestyle project but since our project is maven project uh, i'm gonna click on this maven project and then it will give me some simple steps in which I can configure this here source code management I am gonna choose git and uh, you, in earlier lectures I have shown you how you can push the project to github so this is the pro, uh, URL where I have pushed my git project and I am gonna use the SSH protocol so just copy that SSH URL and then paste it over there and you can use the credentials as well so if you are using ssh you will have to add the ssh key but if you are using the http protocol you, you can use the username and credit uh, username and password so i'm gonna use the http protocol and i have already saved the username password for that repository here you can specify the branch in which you can get that particular the source code then you have to give the build triggers so i'm gonna build it manually so i'm not gonna select anything but you can select poll scm so if there are any changes in the repository build will be automatically started here you can uh, select the build steps so you can add the pre-built step but i do not want to add any pre-built uh, steps so i'm just gonna use this uh, particular goal colors mvn test or say clean test click on apply so here in the post steps uh, you can run only if the build success so if you want to add some post build steps you can add over there and you can also specify after which uh, regardless of the build result or when you want to run the post build steps so there is a condition over there 
and you can also set up the email notifications as well if you want then you can click on apply and then what will happen is build configuration is saved once you click on save you will be taken to this particular uh, project screen and to build this particular project you have to click on this build now button you can notice that this build uh, is starting uh, started running and if you click on console output it will display what it is doing as you can see it is downloading that particular repository from this url using these credentials and it has found that there is a model now it is executing that maven goal so it will download all the dependencies that are required to down uh, like execute that particular uh, goal so this download thing will happen only for the first time when you are trying to run your selenium tests now it is res uh, doing the resources uh, goal then compile goal or the page then it is doing test resources goal and then it is now uh, executing the tests so the build has failed and the reason a file has failed is because there has been some kind of exception over there surefire directory surefire reports test surefire really surefire reflection exception so let us try to rerun that particular build again All right, earlier we were getting this error saying that that Surefire plugin was having some problems. So if we look at the logs, you can notice that we had uh, this particular exception saying that Surefire reflection exception java.lang.reflect.invocation target exception. So the main reason why that exception was coming is that I was using different uh, JDK in uh, Jenkins and the in, in IntelliJ in Fade and I had created this particular project uh, was using different JDK. So what I did is that to resolve this problem, I went to the Jenkins settings. I clicked on manage Jenkins button and then Clicked on configure a system link. And over there I had specified different JDK. As you can see earlier JDK was different and now this is the one that matches the one that I used in IntelliJ for creating this project. So once you did that uh, I am going to execute that particular build once again. And this time around test should run successfully. So to run the test from the main screen, you can click on this button and you can notice that the states uh, have started executing over there. The build is started and you can look at the console as well. And it is trying to parse the palms. Then it will execute that goal that we had given that is clean test. And you can notice that this time around it is using different JDK. So you can notice that it is uh, compiling this particular project uh, files and then it will start executing the tests. So Surefire plugin is starting the ex uh, execution of the test. So this time around we didn't get that error because we are using the right version of the JDK. So we had this exception because it is saying that Chrome driver was not found. So that's why that test has failed. But it is going ahead and executing the test from this particular class that is complex action test. And another important thing uh, to note is that it uh, doesn't open the browser actually uh, if when you execute the tests in Jenkins. If you are, uh, install the Jenkins as a service, that uh, particular browser is not actually visible. So if you want to view the browser, what you will have to do is you will have to 
run that uh, Jenkins using this command called as Java dash char and then there is a war file over there so you can notice that in the Jenkins installation directory you will find that one file Jenkins.war and you have to execute this command called as java char jenkins.org and then if you execute your or start your server in this way what will happen is uh, see the browser opening and then executing those tests so as you can see the tests have ex uh, executing now no so i'm gonna stop this build now because i do not want to run all the tests so to stop the build you can click on here and that's how you can set up the uh, run the selenium tests on the Jenkins. now just to rewind this lecture what we have seen in this lecture is how to set up the selenium project in Jenkins. then set up the build configurations for the maven and then uh, how to run the selenium tests i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on the selenium web travel in java